Fable 3, I play Sabine. I am Sabine, elder of the Dweller tribe. This is my first experience of voicing a video game. Um, so what drew me to it was the team, how committed they are, how well organized everything is, and how beautiful the game is. There is, I think, some loose connection between a character I played in the film called The Last Legion and Sabine. They're both from the same part of the UK. They're both from Wales. All right, I'll shout Sabine's history of the Dweller tribe. And I apologize to any Welsh players of the game for my Welsh accent, but I did have a go. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? In Fable 3, I play Teresa, who is a seer who was blinded in her youth. I think you see that in Fable 1. She is born to see into the future. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong. I play a character called Riva. He's a kind of, I don't know how you describe him, a foppish, debauched, ruin of a rake of a piratical libertine. I wouldn't call him immoral so much as amoral. He has no morality whatsoever. He doesn't even have a concept of morality. These pitiful men are not a patch on my old bloodstone pirates. Oh, how I miss them sometimes. There's always something stylish about being utterly wicked. Hey, Master Weaver, you think anyone will actually get this perfect score? No need to get restless, sweetheart. Barry Hatch is here to take care of you. Fancy a quick jig. Reva will prove your most valuable asset. The character I play in Fable 3 is Logan, who is the king of Albion. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. It's my first time playing a video game character. And uh, it's really interesting because it's another sort of form of storytelling. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. What was really helpful was when I got sort of, you know, sketches and images of the character. And through that I could sort of gather a lot of information really, sort of an air of sort of pomposity and uh, an arrogance and paranoia. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. When Logan started to behave so appallingly, I told myself he wanted to prove his strength by seeing off a few agitators. In Fable 3, I play a character called Elliot, who's the female hero's uh, kind of love interest, um, potentially. To force an entire kingdom to live in fear. That's true tyranny. He's a very genuine, kind man who is kind of the moral barometer for the female hero. Not a great fighter, pretty useless, and gets in a lot of trouble. All hail the Queen of Albion! I play a character called Sir Walter Beck, who's the kind of typical right-hand man of the monarch. Oh, balls to you all. He's loyal, he's honest, he's a hard fighter. Ha <laughs> You only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? He's everything that a king would want just here. Blot! Stick that up Logan's pipe and smoke it! In Fable 3, I am playing the part of Ben Finn, who is a sort of uh, rapscallion, soldier-come-adventurer who, uh, you know, had a difficult life. He grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, didn't really want to. He's always been a quite a moral guy. He's always been kind of wanted to do the right thing, but was just dragged back into criminality again and again. But eventually, he joined the Royal Albion Army and sort of became this sort of, you know, the guy he wanted to be. Ow! It's like being hit by a frozen sock! I play Jasper, who is the butler at the Royal Palace, and he was originally butler to the king who's gone all wrong. And now he is the great and faithful and loyal attendant on the young fellow who's going to become the hero, or the young girl who's going to become the heroine. You've a new mask, an exciting mix of daring and dashing. A bit like my first cat, Simon. I think people often wonder whether an actor is using himself in a character. And I think the answer is, to some extent, he has to. One of the things that's missing from uh, 
a lot of video games is um, is good writing and good voice work. I mean, they they require that. It's just because they're video games doesn't mean they don't require the same attention that movies do or television or what have you. And I think this one has a wonderful mythology and it's 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 witty and it's it's engrossing and and it, it demands to have people that you know can step up to the plate. This is revolutionary for me. It has to become part of the actor's vocabulary. We have to join in or perish. Okay, you're ready? The video's ready? Are you ready? A wolf has been hit! Oh, no, actually, could I do that again? It sounded a little bit grand. <laughs> could very well destroy the Kingdom of Albion. <laughs> Just like that poster. And, and is my cappuccino here yet? The shambles! <laughs> My advice to anyone who wants to play this game and win and overthrow Logan and be a, a good leader is, is to be yourself, is don't try and second guess, don't try and think, oh, I wonder if the game wants me to do this or the game wants, it's not about that, it's about you, the player. <laughs>